to now Monica Semedo from Renew. Thank you very much, Chair. Mr. Panetta, last week uh, the European Parliament uh, adopted uh, the resolution on the climate emergency with a, a broad majority, an important signal to our citizens, but also to EU institutions, that there needs to be urgent actions. And, and now uh, there's an evaluation of the uh, currency strategy and uh, monetary strategy. And um, uh, Mrs. Lagarde said yesterday that uh, uh, climate considerations will be included. And uh, this is something that you mentioned in your statement as well. Um, from your point of view, uh, digitalization and um, climate effects, what about uh, a possible ECB currency? Are these things that should be taken into about? Because it appears that people on the board uh, agree with this, and uh, the, the, but the, in some other areas there seems to be more focus on monetary considerations. I, I have captured two questions. <clears throat> Uh, the first one uh, is on the uh, relationship between the activity of the ECB and climate change. Well, the uh, ECB has three uh, functions. Uh, the the uh, most relevant one is uh, the uh, <clears throat> objective of maintaining price stability. Then it is entrusted with uh, microprudential uh, supervision and uh, uh, third is uh, the, the uh, financial stability role of the ECB, the uh, role in preserving financial stability. I think that in uh, each of these roles, the uh, ECB uh, could uh, give a very important uh, contribution to uh, the analysis and the uh, 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 um, contrast of climate change risks. In uh, uh, microprudential supervision, uh, uh, the ECB, the SSM, uh, the single supervisory mechanism, is already uh, 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 starting a discussion uh, with banks in order to induce them to take climate change into consideration when, when they assess the risks uh, which, they, uh, which banks uh, have on their balance sheets. If they don't do that, they might, might be uh, underestimating the risks they are uh, bearing and uh, uh, of course uh, it would be uh, much better if they uh, took with a medium term uh, horizon uh, into account uh, the risk of climate changes. Uh, financial stability is also affected by climate change. Think for example of the effect of natural uh, disasters on financial intermediaries such as insurance companies and this might have very uh, broad effects which could eventually affect uh, financial stability. And again, in its uh, financial stability role, the ECB should take into account uh, the effect of climate changes. And third, for monetary policy, uh, climate risk might affect monetary policy both in the, in the short run because it changes the frequency and the distribution of the shocks which hit the economy. Think, for example, of the possible effect of a very cold winter on the construction sector, as it happened a few years ago in Germany. Uh, we made wrong forecasts on the uh, short-run growth of the euro, euro area economy because in Germany and other northern countries the winter impeded uh, work in the construction sector or in the medium term think for example to the possible effect of uh, uh, the transition in the uh, uh, carbon intensive sectors which have to readjust which have to shrink probably and this might have uh, an impact on the functioning of the economy and uh, uh, possibly on the, the medium-term inflation expectations. So the main contribution that the ECB could give to uh, <clears throat> the uh, environmental uh, uh, um, um, issue is to uh, facilitate the pricing of climate risk, of climate change, or the risk of climate change. In this way, not only the ECB, but also the financial sector at large would be contributing to finance uh, projects which are attentive to environmental uh, issues. Uh, there is also the possibility for the central bank to invest its own uh, money and uh, uh, to buy uh, uh, securities which uh, are uh, um, 
uh, environment friendly, the so-called uh, so green bonds, uh, but in this case you require a very careful analysis because you take, must take into account the need uh, to be market uh, neutral. Uh, I uh, think that the, the role of the ECB and central banks at large will likely uh, expand in this uh, uh, type of investment uh, as long as the market develops. That is, as long as the volume of outstanding green bonds will uh, increase. Uh, looking at some numbers, now uh, there are, according to the estimates by the Bank for International Settlements, outstanding amounts of green bonds which are worth 700 billion euros. Of this, only 250 billion euros are in, in, uh, uh, in the eurozone. Uh, let's assume that half of that portfolio is owned by buy and hold investors. There's only more than slightly more than 100 billion uh, green bonds available. The uh, uh, APP portfolio of the uh, euro system is 2.6 trillion. So, if, uh, if the ECB were to buy only were to allocate only 5% uh, of that portfolio to the green bonds, it would swallow up the market. So uh, we cannot engage too much into this uh, business of buying, investing in green uh, uh, securities. We have to be um, progressive. We don't want to make the market illiquid. We do not want to make it impossible for private investors to trade and price the risk of climate change.